God bless you. This is Susan Waldrop. I have a word that I was feeling led to share with you. Actually, I'm going to be doing a few short videos this morning that the Lord has put on my heart. And one of the very first ones that I wanted to share with you was a dream that the Holy Spirit gave me. He's given me many, many dreams of rapture dreams where right before the Lord comes, this is going to happen. Right before the Lord comes, that is going to happen. And so I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. I don't want that to be overpowering. I hope that you can enjoy that music, the worship music um, behind. I was uh, in this dream and we were in California. There was no question in my mind. We were in the southern part of California in the Baja area. And uh, in this one dream, going to share a couple of dreams, actually. This first dream, the Lord had us in the southern part of California. It was nighttime, which is very symbolic and interesting. It's either early in the morning, it seems like, or uh, late in the nighttime when these earthquakes happen. And usually they're around 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 a.m. Um, so this was in the early night, early morning hours. And actually it seemed like nighttime. But we were up. And people were walking around on the land. They were uh, just going about their normal part of their evening or early morning. And all of a sudden, the land started to shake. And I can tell you, it was a large boom that had happened. And all of a sudden then, it was as though we began running supernaturally <clears throat> excuse me forward northward we were running northeastward actually and as we looked down the land was splitting behind us under us and we were running to stay ahead of it running northeastward or northeasterly and it was as though the land was parting and splitting along this quake underneath the land and as the land was splitting we were running ahead of it ahead of it, ahead of it it was like a section of it was breaking off into the ocean but it was not going down in the ocean it was just separating from the mainland if you want to call it it was as though the Lord was separating the land and so we began to run 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 ahead of this quake ahead of this breaking in the land and as we begin to run inwardly to the uh, eastern, eastern, northeastern side, the land was breaking off behind us. And we were saying, run, run, run. And I could see several people were behind us and they were not making it. They ended up on the part that was splitting off in which would then become an island, a section off of the mainland. <clears throat> and so this was one dream where uh, the Lord showed me that the land was breaking off and separating. This was in the southern part of California, but also uh, now moving ahead to another dream that the Lord gave me of the land breaking off. The Lord brought me up years ago. This was in the 1980s. The Lord gave me this dream. <clears throat> and he raised up my spirit and I looked down and I saw supernaturally the west coast of California. I saw the east coast of New York. And it was as though the whole thing began to crumble, 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 crumble from underneath. And it began to fall and crumble as you would see a cookie crumble. And it crumbled off into the water and that is where I saw that also at the same time at the same time that the East Coast and the West Coast crumbled the Mississippi River split and it had a huge gap in it 
and also it began to reverse its direction of that which it was before. It was running in the opposite direction. <clears throat> Moving on to another dream that I'll share quickly. The Lord showed me that this was due to a bomb that we were in uh, the area by Montrose, California, if you know where Montrose, California is. I knew specifically we were in Montrose because it's, it's full of hills and that kind of landscape. We looked off to the south and we saw the tall towers of Los Angeles. And all of a sudden, this huge air raid happened. And all of a sudden, you heard this explosion. And then we looked and we saw a huge mushroom come up from the skyscrapers. We knew that a bomb had hit. And then there was an announcement you have, I can't remember how many seconds, a short time, 10 or 20, 30 seconds to find shelter. That's not a lot of time to find shelter. So we did. And the next thing I knew then, this dream went on to a much longer part of it, where then I saw as the wind came after the bomb and it blew over many, many things. I was then in Santa Clarita. And I saw as though it were, uh, I saw as though it was, uh, as though a bomb had hit and what used to be a road was just like tumbled all together just like as though you'd see a huge earthquake or a effects from a bomb the road wasn't a road anymore uh the cars were hurled up and then i saw Clarita King, which is in santa clarita i saw i knew exactly where i was i saw trails and this was like, I went in there. This was before I ever even knew about these. They call them tiny houses. People were living in these type of abodes, these type of little put together things. Uh, they were all different. And it was totally like these people were walking. Maybe they had a bicycle, but there was very, very few cars. <clears throat> it was as though they shared. It was a very communal scene. It was the effects after the bomb that people that had survived, that had found shelter, then were living a completely different lifestyle. People were sharing. It was a much more communal atmosphere. So I, we know that presently people are living in very communal atmospheres. People that are homeless are living as small communities together and they are truly being the hand extended of the Lord to each other to each other so these are the uh, dreams that I wanted to share I've had several other dreams but I want to encourage you uh, with these dreams that the Lord knows exactly what's going to happen. You cannot walk in fear. You can't be afraid because although we know these things are coming, many people have seen that this will come right as the rapture happens, right before the rapture happens. And I'm open for all of that. I'm not God. I only know what he's shown me in dreams. I do feel the great urgency of the Holy Spirit and I believe that it's going to be very close to the time of the first catching away. I know there's been other catching away in the Bible. And this is just another one of those catching away, they call it. I also want to say this. I do believe that the enemy, not knowing when the rapture is going to happen, but he certainly has plans put in place because he doesn't want the world to know that the church was taken. He wants to set it up as though you might say UFOs took us possibly. Who knows how he's going to play this out. 
but he is definitely going to get the attention off of what truly did happen, the uh, taken away of the believers, and he is going to try to get everyone's eyes immediately on something else, such as maybe bringing in the Pope for a visit, uh, bringing in many, many other things, uh, immediately bringing in martial law, so that that will have our attention on that, the ones remaining. And it could also be that as the bombs drop and everything like this, that there will be such a commotion as we just know with this recent earthquake that happened. That there's such a commotion that happens that together in their minds because they're not saved, number one, or they heard the gospel and they're away from the Lord, number two, they won't have that knowledge to put it together in their mind that they won't be able to even find their loved ones, so they won't even realize that they did go in a rapture. Now we know there will be airplanes in the air. They will go down if there's a Christian pilot. I know that some airlines are so concerned about these prophecies that they have made sure that there is a believer and a non-believer as co-pilots so that they feel like they're going to be covered no matter what happens. And everyone has a heads up coming about this September, what's going to be coming about as well. We surely know God's hand writing is upon the wall for everyone to see but you know, the prayers that you pray for those that are watching this video after this has already taken place. Yes, there will be those that are watching. There's some that are watching right now. I'm speaking into future tense of where I am at, present tense, where you are at watching this. For the Lord is allowing these videos to stay so that you that are watching these videos now after the rapture of the true believers because you can't find your loved ones you can't find the ones that knew this was going to happen and tried to speak to you and you told them to shut up get out of my face oh that's ridiculous i can hear all of the things that you said to them this is to let you know the lord has taken them the Lord has taken your loved ones, not a UFO. No matter how much evidence you think there is in that direction. But the Lord has taken them and they are praying that you will give your life to the Lord. You will not waver now any longer, but you will turn back to the Lord of hosts and you shall be saved. Do what you can do. Stay strong in the faith. For the eternity, your eternity is at stake. So now we saints that are alive as this is being recorded, we join together and we pray for you. Father, keep them strong. Keep them strong, Holy Spirit, the ones that are watching this after the rapture happens. Holy Spirit, keep them strong. Let them know. Let them have physical signs. However you choose to bring this about, but let it be known unto them that is watching this now. That they too can be in heaven eternally with the Lord in Jesus' name, we thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, and we all said amen and amen. I love you. God bless you. You know, we never know what God is going to speak or say, but he knows exactly what he's saying. So those that are watching this, the body of believers, as I'm recording this, be sure to share this video with anyone you know that, uh, that has loved ones that are not saved because this just might be that video. God moves to their hearts in 
in that day. Save this video to your hard drive. Save it to your computer. So when you are gone and they turn your computer on, which they will, they'll come right to your computer. Make sure it's on your desktop so it is there in plain sight. And they will hopefully believe and be changed in the twinkling of an eye. I love you. God bless you. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be making another video coming right up in just a moment. God bless you.